So I shot that's just near. So I thought I'd share with you this sort of neat quick way of making these kinds of city blocks. Um, and it uses a, a lesser known feature of Max, which is uh, the pattern maker. So let's have a go. So if we drag out a plane, and you can see um, it's subdivided. And then I'm going to convert it into an editable poly. Let's do it like this. Uh, we can use the, the pattern maker in the modeling ribbon to, um, well, make patterns. So let's have a look at this, the generate to topology. Uh, so you have all these different options. And we can choose like mosaic, uh, all this kind of stuff. And we can make quite a mess of our surface. And I want to use this one, mosaic. So it's, you can see it's created some glitches, uh, which I'm just going to maybe see if I can fix. Yeah, uh, we need to just re. There we go. That's it. Much better. Right. So this is our street plan. If you can imagine that, um, each of these lines is going to become a road. And if you wanted, we could go and add, you know, some more little roads in, uh, just with our poly connect tool. So if I could click on there, drag, maybe diagonally down there and diagonally down there, make a little block in there, dunk. I really can't make any kind of mess you like, but I am reasonably happy with that. Um, so let's go on to the next step. So we're just going to have a little tour the force of some of the um, edit poly mod uh, modifier tools. So let's just select everything with control A. And then I'm going to use this inset turn. I'm, I'm going to use the fly out. So if I just click on that, use inset settings. And then here, it's a tiny little button. That's what we're going to look at. So let's just inset it a bit. So this is insetting everything, which we kind of done before. Uh, but if I change this to inset by group, you can see we get this. And this is uh, the basement the kind of pavement area of our city blocks. So we can do that. And maybe, yeah, that looks about right. That's sort of to scale. And I could do tick. I'm going to worry about this one later. Uh, and then I'm going to do extrude. Let's see what happens. So now this is going to be um, the base of our buildings. We'll just get a bit of pavement, maybe that much. That'll do. And then uh, I want to make some buildings, so I don't want them to be a separate object. So let's take all of those faces, uh, and we are going to do detach. And I want to detach as clone like that. So now we have this stuff. So let's go into the edit modifier again. Uh, and now I want to select all of this stuff again and I want to inset again. And this is going to be, uh, that's going to be our building. So we've got road over here, we've got road, two lanes of road, a bit of pavement, and then our building. So what I'm going to do is this. I don't want the pavement to be on this part of the object I want to be on the other one so I'm just going to do control I select everything else and then delete like that and I can select everything now and I can do extrude just up a bit like that and now maybe I can just sort out some of these like needless edges so let's just double click that and let's not do that let's click on that and press control click remove to remove edges and vertices there are other ways of quickly cleaning this up. I could probably use Optimize or something, but uh, it's not important right now. Let's just do that. Can all track remove. And now I can start messing with these heights a bit to get something a bit more like a city. So let's do that. Just grab faces and let's pick a what's going to be a big building. Uh, let's grab that. And uh, we can just drag that up. And maybe 
uh, one of these. Yeah, let's just make a little kind of. Big sort of central area with some high buildings in it. And then once I've that, done that, I can kind of like maybe make some tiers to these buildings. Uh, so there's multiple ways I could do that. I could do this. Uh, we could do inset. And I could extrude again, like that. I can take all that lot and I can clone it by shift dragging and then I can do R for scale and then shrink it in a bit and I can make that maybe a bit more interesting give it a bit of shape so let's do that yeah I could chamfer these edges maybe let's grab that and that take chamfer and chamfer again yeah like that Uh, let's add some tops to some of that a lot as well. And now I can just go on sort of refining everything. Um, yeah, it's kind of cool. We could maybe give one of these like some sort of inset base. So let's do uh, W, drag, shift up that lot and copy that to it there. Let me just shrink that down a bit. Move that top face. Delete. Move that down again like that. Yeah, that's kind of cool. And you can just go on kind of adding detail and making interest. Uh, but we have our street plan. Oh, yeah, and I guess the other thing is this. If I just go onto the street plan, now we've got, because we've got roads and pavements, it's kind of easy to add materials for that, so let's just isolate that selection. And I think this is causing problems here, and it's not sure, quite sure which way the face is, so just drag that out a little bit, that'll sort it out, or I could possibly remove it. Um, so what I can do is select by angle, and then that will give me all the roads. And for those of you who know about material IDs, I can make those a different material ID. But just for the sake of this, I'm just going to quickly uh, detach them, not as a clone this time. Okay, that. And then I can just make them a darker color like that, and that will give me uh, some sort of separation between pavement and road. Let's so maybe make that. We can make that a lighter blue like that. There we go. Bring our buildings back in, we get that kind of thing. Yeah, a bit big, maybe I'll just shrink it down crudely like that. Yeah, that's kind of the same scale-ish. Okay, so there you go, that's a quick way of um, blocking out a city block. Uh, obviously, like, comment, and all the other stuff. And I'll see you soon.